Hi everybody! So it's time for another weird and funny toys video. Um, in these videos I just try to find toys that either are really weird or that strike my sense of humor in one way or another. And today's find I got at the Dollar Tree store so it was only a buck for the toy. And it's an extreme fighting action play set. And at first I thought extreme fighting maybe it was like supposed to be an MMA figure. I I'm not positive. I'm really not into, you know, extreme fighting or wrestling or anything like that. But then I got to thinking because of the mask, maybe it's supposed to be like a wrestling thing, but I'm not sure. Uh, any of you that are into actually that kind of fighting, you might know better than I would. But what struck my fancy about this one or what made me laugh was the chainsaw because I'm thinking whether it's like a mixed martial arts thing or it's wrestling, I mean, are you allowed to have a chainsaw? I mean, that just seems weird. Like, if you go into the ring with a chainsaw, I mean, who's going to win? And I assume maybe you could use it just for a prop, like, before you get in the ring. Although, I mean, I always thought that was so stupid, like, to have all the drama and the props and all that ridiculous stuff. Which, I haven't actually watched wrestling since it was, like, back when it was WWF wrestling, so that probably tells you a lot. I've never watched like the WWE stuff. But even so, I think isn't the WWE stuff supposed to be more like family friendly and like it's more friendly for little kids. So it still seems odd that you would have a chainsaw, you know, one of the guys taking a chainsaw into the ring or whatever. But I just thought that was messed up. I mean, maybe I'm just weird or whatever, or because I'm not into it, I don't get it. But I'm sorry, if anybody takes a chainsaw into a wrestling match, that's just ridiculous, or into a mixed martial arts fighting or whatever. So let's go ahead and open him just to see uh, exactly what kind of shape this thing is in. And they did have other ones in this series too, and I mean none of them had really weird um, props with them. So. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just this guy. I mean, maybe there was some wrestler who did stuff with chainsaws. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. But I just find that ridiculous and kind of stupid. And so we have the figure here. And, I mean, it's your, you know, general cheap plastic buck figure. You know, I mean, nothing real exciting. His arms and legs move and stuff. And, I mean, he's his head moves, I guess, from side to side. But, you know, nothing exciting. It's not made of really good plastic or anything. It's just made of that thin, hard plastic. And then we have the chainsaw, which is, you know, just uh, made of plastic. And I might actually keep the chainsaw. I don't know if I'll keep the figure. Probably not. But I may keep the chainsaw because I, I like that. It reminds me of, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something, which I am into horror. I mean, I like horror, but I just don't see the need for a chainsaw and any kind of physical fighting type thing. But, you know, whatever. I, I know they used to do ridiculous things when, you know... I only watched WWF wrestling, like, once or twice when I was at friends' houses and they had, like, the pay-per-view or whatever. And, I mean, it was some pretty ridiculous, stupid stuff. But I still don't remember any chainsaws or anything like that, anything you know, super duper violent or anything, but you know, like I said, I didn't watch it a whole lot, but I just think it's ridiculous that any person who supposedly, you know, like what they brag about is how strong they are physically. And if you're that strong physically, then why do you need a chainsaw? You know, I mean, prove it by actually fighting with your physical strength. And I just, I never understood that. Just like I always thought it was stupid when they would like, you know, break the fake chairs over each other's head or whatever. But still, that's better than a chainsaw. I mean, I'd rather see people breaking fake chairs than going into the ring with a chainsaw. It's just ridiculous to me. But that's uh, what I found. And like I said, I just thought it was funny because I'd never seen like a wrestler figure with a chainsaw. And I've seen them in the stores and stuff because I'm always looking for toys and I've seen lots of wrestling figures you know, in the toy section, and I've never seen anything like that, so I thought it was weird, and I just thought it'd be fun to share, so I hope you guys like this video, and again, you'll have to forgive my ignorance if there's stuff I just don't know about wrestling, I'm just not really that into it, and, you know, most of my memories, like I said, are from, you know, years back, but 
if I remember right, I mean, I think it was much more violent and messed up back then because it was more like an 18 plus thing. Whereas I think WWE is more like, you know, kid friendly and stuff. Although I could be wrong. I don't know. It's not like I watch it. Uh, we used to have foster kids who liked to watch it, although um, we didn't let them watch it a whole lot just because, I don't know, I just thought it was stupid. But um, as they got older, I probably would let them watch it more. But since some of them had aggression problems anyway, I didn't think it was the best thing for them. But I guess that's it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you think or tell me how stupid I am if I just totally misunderstand the whole thing. And I guess that's it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I guess that's it. So I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.